Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and I am Nova and this is Nova Gnome Creations. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will enjoy your stay and press that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. <clears throat> Hopefully you enjoy the content and if you have any suggestions on things that you would like to see or any questions, always feel free to ask and of course say hi. I love to see uh, who's stopping by. Um, so I'm getting back on here today with something I mentioned in my last video, which is the puppy parade that Llama Mama Kayla is doing. So if you haven't seen that and you're interested in a video of puppy creations and also just, you know, dogs in general, uh, head over to her channel. I'll link it in the description below. Um, but this is just about the dog that I made. So I have my handy dandy notebook here that I was talking about in my last video also, where I'm starting to keep track of my makes and what yarn I use and what kind of hook I use and things like that. So let me go ahead and open up to where I kept the info for this. So um, I made a chihuahua. <laughs> so I have a chihuahua named Mario and he is an extremely tiny chihuahua. He is four pounds soaking wet. <laughs> and soaking wet wouldn't even really mean anything with him because he also doesn't really have very much hair. Um, he has hair on mostly just like his back and then like a peach fuzz on his whole body. Uh, he has alopecia, so he doesn't have hair on his head. Um, but like I said, it's like a peach fuzz. It's like a velvety texture. Um, and he's very small and I'll definitely include pictures of him in this video. But um, I made this dog based off of him and it is actually much larger than him. My cat is putting his claws in my chair. Sorry about that. Um, it, this is actually much larger than Mario, but um, this is how big it is, if that gives you any idea. And um, Mario has light brown fur with like dark brown fur mixed in. Um, it's not like a solid color and it's never been a solid color, but he also has a lot of gray. Um, he is 11 years old. He'll be 11 years old next month. So he has a lot of gray mixed in and I tried to really accentuate that, um, especially around, uh, his nose, his snoot area. He has a lot of gray. So I kind of um, would ta I tapered down to just the light brown and gray when I got towards the tip. Um, and then I mixed the gray in uh, throughout. And there's also a light brown. So um, for the yarn, I used Light Taupe by I Love This Yarn, which is this one. Um, and I used that for the main color and that is a four weight yarn. And then for the other colors, I used some of this Hobby Lobby clearance yarn, which was this 44th Street yarn. Um, and it looks like this. I'm not sure if they're discontinuing this brand in general or if they're just discontinuing these um, shades, but I got this for a dollar and seven cents. And I used um, that in shale which is that darker brown I just showed, and Camel, which is that really light one that um, is just maybe a shade lighter than the taupe. I also used a gray, which I need to find the ball band for and write it down in here. I have a spot to write it down and I just haven't yet. Um, and I, so I don't remember the name of it, but it's this gray color. And it was also the uh, Hobby Lobby clearance. So all three shades of that 44th Street yarn was Hobby Lobby clearance. So um, I followed the pattern for the most part. Um, I didn't keep like perfect count on something. So like I just kind of um, eyeballed it for the length of some things. But for the most part, I followed the pattern except for the tail. Um, my dog curls his tail uh, and it's just something quirky that he does. So he has like a curly tail uh, for a chihuahua 
And so I wanted to include a curly tail, so I just freehanded that and did a curly tail for him. Um, and I did gold sparkly eyes because, um, yeah. oops, <laughs> um, he has brown eyes, but they're very, very dark. Unless you're like in the sunlight, you're not really going to know. But um, the size of eye that I needed, I didn't have just solid black or um, a solid brown or anything. So I was like, you know what? I think that this gold will work. And I'm really happy with how that came out. Um, and then for the nose, um, part of the pattern, uh, it does like have you say like, or has you um, shape it where you can take, you can run yarn through the top and like into the bottom to kind of squish it. Um, and I just took that a step further and I, I really like ran the yarn through and like pulled in in different directions and stuff until I got what I consider like kind of the shape of his nose because the pattern had a little bit of a bigger tip to the nose, like a bigger rounded tip. And I wanted it to be like as close to his face shape as I possibly could um, get it. So that's where I got that shape. And then um, in the pattern, she uses um, another safety eye for the nose, which like I said, I used these safety eyes. So um, I actually just crocheted a shape and uh, attached that as my nose. So this is um, the ch uh, Chihuahua Amigurumi dog pattern. Um, and it is by amiamore.com backslash chihuahua amigurumi dog crochet pattern and I'm gonna link that there are some uh, hyphens and backslashes in there so I'm gonna link that below if anyone's interested in it um and I just googled a uh, chihuahua crochet pattern and it was one of the first ones that came up if not the first one that came up um and it was free um but I did notice um, that she has a YouTube video for this dog also. Uh, I didn't use the YouTube video. I did open the YouTube video uh, when I first found the pattern, but I didn't need the YouTube video. It's a very simple pattern, so um, I didn't end up actually using it, but there is a YouTube video um, if anyone's interested in that. Um, and then I used a five millimeter hook. So here is my little Mario dog. And something different that I did for this, um, I don't know if you've ever been to Build-A-Bear, but at Build-A-Bear, um, you can put things inside of the stuffed animals before they like stuff them and sew them closed. They have like a little opening. And you can put like a voice box in them. Um, you can put like these little stars and stuff in them, which is like to symbolize you making a wish and you can make a wish. Um, and I think you can put other stuff. I'm not sure. Like those are things that they sell there. But I know that um, some people like, like um, not to like get sad, but my cat is climbing up here. Not to get sad, but I know like some people when they have like a loved one pass away, uh, they'll put um, like their voice in it. Sorry. <laughs> um, or they will um, put their baby's heartbeat inside of them and have it be like a keepsake for their baby. There's like a lot of things people do with those. Um, well, a similar concept is, uh, ju I just clipped a little bit of my dog's fur with the help of my husband, because I wanted to make sure we were very, you know, careful, because like I said, he doesn't have a lot of fur, so he just clipped a little bit of his fur, um, you can't even tell, and put it inside of the body. So, um, I actually have a picture of that, and I will include that in this video, but it matched so perfectly, like, seeing the fur like sitting on the stuffing in the picture right next to this you can really see all of these colors that I used are literally what his fur color is um the different colors in his fur so that's pretty cool and now it'll always have a little you know piece of him in it and uh I actually was showing this to my husband when I finished it a little bit ago and my dogs were interested in it and I didn't expect them to be so I sat it down and they both were like sniffing all over it and so interested um, and I ran to get my phone but by the time I came back they were like starting to exhaust their interest in it so of course I missed getting a picture of that or a video of that that would have been cute but if I do get any um, more I will post those also because that was really cute I didn't expect that. But um, this is going to be uh, what I send over for the puppy parade. And if anyone else is wanting to do that, um, I think you have until this weekend to send in pictures. 
Uh, don't quote me on that, but go over and she has a video about it and it'll have um, the timeline and the email that you can send them to and all that kind of stuff. Um, and also, of course, it's a, a subscriber collab, so you'll want to be subscribed to her anyways. But I think that's going to be so fun and so cute. But here is what I made. And it does sit up. I'm going to include some pictures of it sitting, but it sits perfectly. It sits like a champ. So... Very happy with it. Highly recommend this pattern. It is so cute. And I think that's all. So I just wanted to hop on here and show this to you guys. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.